So while Dad was working on other stuff here, I uh, started I started scraping and vacuuming and scraping and vacuuming, and I got out the wire brush. Uh, I got this side out pretty good here. You can see how thick this this tar and shit is yeah. in here, right? Eh? So I still got I got to get the wire brush in there and uh, different sizes of scrapers and whatnot, but. Already emptied out the vacuum cleaner uh, once already. It was plugged solid, and uh, gonna keep on cleaning. It's uh, that likes working in a clean work environment, but also Plus, it just they got a weld in there. Yeah, he's got a weld, and there's all sorts of like there's leaves and sticks and nuts and bolts and oil and whatever else. So just trying to make it also nice, like so that if he you know when he's working in here he he has uh, a clean work area but also it just looks more professional if it's uh, cleaned up and then if the customer has to get in here for any reason then at least they're not working a pile of mud and oil and sticks and leaves and whatever else so like I said I got this bit done here I'll probably come back again tomorrow help out down with that chunk and then I did some on this uh, bombardier as well got it down in here got all the the shavings and there was some stuff down here and uh, I just clean it up you know it's those little things that uh, take a lot of time but I probably spent the last two three hours on this but uh, you know that's what we're doing so uh, was vacuuming up a, a lot of the stuff that's in the uh, Johannesson bombardier there the other day I got quite a bit of it but uh, I had to run to town to get a degreaser, but I had to find one that uh, was uh, safe for, for use. So I got this one here, it's uh, in a purple bottle, but uh, just spray on, let it soak in for a minute or two. We've actually gone through quite a few uh, wipe rags already, quite a, quite a bit more to go. But it, what it's good for is it's uh, allowing me to... Uh, loosen up a lot of those bigger chunks and wipe it up better and uh, then I can re-vacuum again there's still quite a bit of crap here on the on the floor of the bombardier that's got some welding to do over here and the good thing about this product is it's non-flammable so uh, if dad vacuums the bombardier is not going to explode on them so I'm going to keep on cleaning Easy Okay, so we got five dogs here. Schooner, unknown dog from next door. Charlie. Yeti from next door and our Daisy Puckettawagon garbage dog. I just bought that bag of marrow bones and we expect to be out of it in a day or two. Five dog day afternoon. And the cat's around here somewhere. <laughs>